there are so many things about Casanova that go beyond the stereotype. Of course, he does provide all the juicy details about his love affairs and his techniques of seduction. What makes him so interesting is that his uh, lifetime, which was about 75 years, encapsulates almost the entire 18th century. So many famous people in it, so many storied love affairs, and so many encounters with geniuses. And in the process, Casanova himself became a genius. He was present at the assassination attempt of Louis XV uh, at, at Versailles. He also became a frenemy of Voltaire and fancied himself a, ro a writer on Voltaire's level. At that time, Voltaire was one of the most prominent writers in Europe, and Casanova was a relative nobody, but in his mind they were somehow equals. He also got to know, uh, because he was so good at ingratiating himself in courts, Catherine the Great of Russia. Um, when she was relatively young. Uh, they were not lovers, um, and they didn't discuss anything particularly romantic or erotic, but they did discuss ways of modernizing or westernizing uh, Russia, particularly the calendar. As he often said, it wasn't so much that he seduced women, it was that women seduced him. I've been trying to find out, as his biographer, what his secret is, but I think a lot of it had to do with the context. He was a libertine. And in the 18th century, uh, libertine was a synonym for a very promiscuous person. He didn't believe in marriage. He said he had 122 lovers. None of them became his wife. He never got married, and he always avoided marriage. And even people who were married were married really only in name, and uh, that applied, that went double for Casanova. Part of it was that he didn't have a place in society. He was the son of two actors. His mother was actually a rather famous actress. But as actors, they were outcasts, social outcasts. So he, even though he was uh, very ambitious socially, he could never actually marry into the nobility um, or upper echelons of society the way he wanted to, um, if, if, even if he could have. Casanova matters today uh, for various reasons. Uh, first of all, it's an incredible record of a vanished era. People don't live like this anymore, and it's the most thorough record of anybody, really, who lived in the 18th century. There are a lot of other diarists um, of, from that era. People tended to keep very detailed, voluminous records, but Casanova uh, doesn't have any sense of boundaries. He writes about everything, no matter how scandalous or distasteful. Um, and the memoirs, which include all this, were not published until after he died.